Minecraft is over 800 blocks in total, and while the majority are for building only, there are some blocks and items that were made specifically for decorating. One of these items is a painting. It was first added in Java Edition and Dev and had 19 canvases. Fast forward to 1.20, there is a total of 30. But these paintings are not just random original art made by Moyang. Most of them are based on real-life artwork, and in this video, I am going to show you the real paintings behind each and one of them. Starting with the smallest canvases that are 16 by 16 pixels, we have the Albanian. At first glance, it might look like cactus, or maybe a pickle, but as the name suggests, it's actually a man wearing a fez standing next to a house and a bush. Up next is the Aztec. Looking at it, I have no clue what it is. Nothing really comes to mind. Well, the painting might actually surprise you. This is actually a freelic perspective of the map DE Aztec from the video game Counter-Strike. I would have never guessed. Okay, now, the name of this one surprised me. Target Successfully Bombed is actually a painting of the famous Dust2 map from Counter-Strike. Wasteland is a painting of a view of some wastelands, and apparently there is a rabbit sitting on the window ledge. Next we have DE Aztec again, there are two paintings with the same name. This is because it's a free look perspective of the map DE Aztec from the video game Counter-Strike, but from a different perspective. I guess whoever added these paintings really loves Counter-Strike. Next we have a painting of some sort of food. For years I thought it was a lava or something, but turns out it's something else. Anyway, the painting is called Kebab Med Pepperoni, which is a kebab with three green chili peppers. Man, I would like to have a kebab right now. One kebab, please. <laughs> <laughs> this painting is called... Oh, that is slab. Looking at it, I can see what looks like a plant. Well, I wasn't wrong. It's a still life painting of two plants in pots. It's Swedish for money tree, which is a common name for the depicted species in Scandinavia. Moving on to 32 by 6 in pixels, we have... Bonjour, Monsieur Courbet. Now, this image has always confused me because it's difficult to understand what it is. Anyway, in this painting we can see two hikers with pointy beards seemingly greeting each other. This painting is based on... Gustav Corbett's painting The Meeting or Bonjour, Monsieur Corbett. This painting is called The Pool, but the thing is, I don't see how is that a pool exactly. Anyway, the actual painting shocked me. Some men and women skinny dipping in a pool over a cube of sorts, also there is an old man resting on the lower right edge. Isn't it supposed to be a kids game? This painting is called Creebet. I don't know what about you, but I used to think it was a creeper taking a bath. Well, turns out it's a painting of a view of mountains and a lake, with a small photo of a mountain and a creeper looking at the viewer through a window. Seaside is a very similar painting to the Cribet. It's a painting of a view of mountains and a lake with a small photo of a mountain and a bright colored plant on the window ledge. This painting has to be one of my favorites. Sunset Dance is a painting of a view of mountains at sunset. Finally, a painting that is easy to understand. Moving on to 16 by 32 pixels, we have Graham. No, it's not Pinocchio. It's a painting of King Graham, the player character in the video game series King's Quest. The original is based on still life with quince, cabbage, melon and a cucumber by Joan Sanchez Cotan. I don't know how to pronounce their name. The Wanderer was memed a lot, and many thought it referred to the famous Never Gonna Give You Up song, but it's actually a low resolution version of Casper David Friedrich's famous painting Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog. Moving to 32 by 32 pixels, we have Wither. Now that the canvas is larger, it's easier to tell what is in the painting. It's a painting depicting the creation of a wither. This is the only painting not based on a real painting. It was made by Jens Bergenstein, aka Jeb. This painting is called Skull and Roses, and it's inspired by Moonlight Installation. Skull and Roses is a painting of a skeleton at night with red flowers in the foreground. The original painting is different, depicting a woman sitting on a couch while the skull is in the middle of a body of glacial water of sorts. Match is pretty self-explanatory. It's a hand holding a match, causing pixelated fire on a white cubic gas fireplace. The void has what seems to be an angel. It's a painting of an angel praying into what appears to be a void with pixelated fire below. The stage set clearly has a big spider, but the rest of the painting isn't clear to me. It's a painting of scenery from Space Quest 1, with a character Graham from the video game series King's Quest. Bust has what appears to be a Greek male with fire around him. Well, it's a painting of a bust of Marcus Aurelius surrounded by pixelated fire. Moving on to four unused paintings. Earth, one of the four classical elements. Water, fire, I actually thought those were tense when I first saw it, and wind. Many of you might already know that they were added in April of 2022, but it turns out they were added all the way back in 2012 into Minecraft Pocket Edition. 
I wonder why after a decade they were added to Java Edition, yet they are still in use. Next we have a 64 by 32 pixels painting called Fighters. It's two pixelated men poised to fight. Paper version of Fighters from the game International Karate. Moving on to 64 by 48 pixels we have a painting called Mortal Coil. A painting of Bruno Martinez from the adventure game Grim Fandango. Kong is a paper looking screenshot of the level 100M from the arcade game Donkey Kong. Finally, a reference I knew without having to look it up. Wonder where Mario is? Well, it turns out he was right there. Moving on to the three big boys. 64 by 64 pixels, we have the pointer. I can see the same karate fighter from the fighter's painting and a hand pointing at the fighter. It's a painting of the main character of the game International Karate in a fighting stance touching a large hand. It could also be interpreted as a play of Michelangelo's famous painting The Creation of Adam. Moving on to Skull on Fire, which has to be my favorite painting. It's a skull on pixelated fire, in the background there is a moon in a clear night sky. This painting is based on a Minecraft screenshot with the grass block and a 3D skull added on top. By the way, the background is an actual Minecraft seed. And finally we have Pixin, a painting of a girl that is pointing to a pig on a canvas. In the original version, RGB, the canvas shows red, green and blue blocks representing the three colors of the RGB color model that is typically used by computer displays. It is based on the painting The Artist Studio by Jacob van Oost. It's incredible to see how Mojang has infused real-world art into their game, bringing depth and significance to even the tiniest details. Who would have thought that Minecraft paintings could have reference to Counter-Strike? I hope you found this video informative and entertaining, and perhaps even gain a new appreciation for the paintings in Minecraft. Let me know in the comments below what you thought the paintings were before discovering their real-life counterparts.